Hello everybody. So this is our very last week of word study um, for the whole school year. And this week we're really just going to be celebrating words. We've been reading hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of words all year in word study. You've learned a lot of tricks for reading them um, and sounding them out and spelling them. Let's just have fun with words this week. So we're going to start this week with a read aloud called Max's Words. Here's Max, and I'm going to hold it nice and close. You can see that he's just surrounded by words. So think to yourself, what might this book be about? Got that idea in your head? All right, let's get started. Max's Words by Kate Banks and illustrated by Boris Kulikov. Cool word. Max's brother Benjamin collected stamps. He had stamps of many colors and sizes. They had ragged edges and sticky backs. Some had famous people on them. Others had places or buildings or flowers or trees. Benjamin spread his stamp collection across his desk. He showed it to his friends and family. Everyone admired it. Max said, can I have a stamp? No, said Benjamin. Max's other brother, Carl, collected coins. He had coins of many sizes and values. They came from different countries. Some were silver colored with rough edges. Others were, smooth, were copper colored with smooth edges. They were all shiny. They had people and buildings on them and the year in which they were made. When Carl showed them around, everyone admired them too. Max said, can I have a coin? No, said Carl. Max wanted to collect something, but he wasn't sure what. He gave it some thought. Finally, he said, I'm going to collect words. Words, said Benjamin. He laughed. <laughs> Very funny, Max, said Carl. Max began collecting small words. A, the, its, an, ate, who, to, in, but, was, in, on, out, big, seen, you, day. He cut them out of magazines and newspapers, and he spread them across his desk. Small words. Pretty soon, Max found bigger words. Hungry, asked, threw. Alligator, crocodile, hissed. He cut them out and added them to the others. Max's collection grew rapidly. Max collected words that made him feel good. Park, baseball, dogs, hugs. So first Max collects small words. Then I want you to think what other ty types of words is he collecting? He collected words of things he liked to eat, bananas, pancakes, ice cream. He collected words that were spoken to him. Good morning, goodbye, go away. He collected his favorite colors, green, blue, brown. Max opened the dictionary and found words he did not know. He copied these on sl small slips of paper, slithered and iguana. What are you doing, Max? asked Benjamin. Let me see, said Carl. Max's collection grew too big for his desk, so he spread out his words on the floor. He separated them into neat piles. When Benjamin and Carl arranged their collections in different orders, it didn't make much difference. But when Max put his words in different orders, it made a big difference. A blue crocodile ate the green iguana. The blue iguana ate a green crocodile. Soon, Max's collections of words spread into the hallway. Notice that he just changed the order of the words in that sentence and it took on a whole new meaning. Some 
times, Max gave away a word or two. See you later, alligator. Have a nice day. When Benjamin put his stamps together, he just had a bunch of stamps. When Carl put his coins together, he just had a pile of money. But when Max put his words together, he had a thought. Maybe I could trade a word for a stamp or a coin, please? No, said Benjamin. No, said Carl. I've got 1,000 stamps, said Benjamin. When I get a few more coins, I'll have nearly 500, said Carl. And when I have a few more words, I'll have a story, said Max. A story takes a lot of words, said Benjamin. I know, said Max. You don't have enough, said Carl. Well, let's see, said Max. Max sorted through his words. He picked out a few and began arranging them on the floor. Once there was a little brown worm who wished to be a big green snake. Benjamin and Carl stopped what they were doing and came over to look. Max continued his story. The worm slithered through the grass. It stuck out its tongue and hissed loudly. Max stopped to chew some more words. Benjamin butted in. Then along came a big mean green crocodile. Then it was Carl's turn. I'm hungry, it said. Uh -oh. Benjamin grinned. He chose a few more words. The crocodile opened its mouth wide and Carl scrambled for more words. He wanted the crocodile to eat the worm, but Max was quicker. The little brown worm darted down a hole, glad to be a worm. <laughs> hey, I want another story, said Benjamin. So do I, said Carl, and I want a stamp and a coin, Max reminded them. Oh, all right, said Benjamin. He gave Max a stamp. Carl gave Max a coin, and Max gave them each some words and kept the rest for himself. Once there was a big brown dog. And so I want you to think about these questions to yourself. Did Max make a collection? How do you think he feels about his collection? How do you know? How do you know how he feels about it? Did he get the things that he wanted? And what makes Max's collection different than Carl's collection or Benjamin's collection? Who do you think has the best collection? So think about those questions, maybe talk about it with someone, then a daughter, talk about it with a sibling, or just think about it. And um, we will be doing some more fun with words in some of the other lessons. Bye everybody.